welcome back to Wednesday Night Fights. And we are back with Street Fighter V. I am Ridge. And I'm Vicious. Oh, yes. I, yeah, yeah. And we have our first match coming up. Well, actually, before we get to our first match. Yeah, let's talk about Vanguard a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. So we've been talking about it all night. Uh, I'm sure you've heard. But Vanguard is coming up again next weekend, April 1st. Not an April Fool's joke. You no. definitely want to show up to Play Live Nation in Fullerton. Again, if you want to register, smash.gg slash Vanguard. Again, these are for proving ground points. And what that is is if you rank within the top eight, and we just so happen to win, which we might, because Chris G took it last year. Oh, yeah, he did. The top eight players are going to be sent out to EVO. You see it right there under the prizing. It's under phase three of the Red Bull Proving Grounds Championship match. You see their first prize, 6K, 2,000 per team member. It's going to be a three-on-three -three format yeah. this year. So it's going to be pretty sick. Yeah, it's going to be a team tournament this year. Not like last year. We're going to have some region pride on the line. Hell yeah. Some group rewards, some trips to EVO for not only you, but some of your closest rivals and friends in your scene. Yep. Definitely a, a good look to put some rewards, put some meaning behind these team tournaments. Because yeah. I, I talked about this earlier, that a lot of team tournaments you see here in the United States is on Fridays before major tournaments, right? Yep. And it's, the, it's fun. So it's a good thing to like unwind and get used to the environment of playing in tournament exactly. before the, the singles, the important things happen. But with this, this is a straight up an important team tournament. Yeah. And the thing is about this, uh, with the whole top eight of your squad, going EVO, it gives you more of an incentive as a unit to kind of practice together, learn the matchups, and, you know, at the bottom of the, the bottom end of the day, can't speak English, level up your community. Oh, my God. We are almost at $500 Jesus. on the match arena? I think that's you the most guys. I've seen. They don't like so Chris far. T. Jesus Christ. Oh, no, he's not here today. Y'all need to calm down. The unit, that's what Sejam's been shilling all day. Dude, I haven't been listening. Bro, I haven't playing. Sejam has, has exited the building because he's got an early fight tomorrow. But yeah, Safe so, travel to the brother. Yeah, so since you've been uh, you've been playing the casuals all day, yeah, this man Sage. Oh, I've been tearing shit up with Colleen, oh, yeah. man. Oh, yeah. My Colleen is not good, but it's doing work. <laughs> so uh, you've been busy parrying people and screaming out random animal sounds. You guys didn't hear it. No. I told you I was going to yell it out. I promise you, every parry I landed, I was going to yell like a madman. <laughs> and what did yeah. I do? I looked and turned around. It was on stream, too, and nobody was around. I was like, I man, this is wasted talent right here. But yeah. Uh, Sejam encouraged people to donate today because Chris T was absent to teach him a lesson to never miss on Wednesday Night Fights God again. Yeah, Sejam is definitely the man with the plan. Yeah, we are almost up to 500. Big shout out to everybody that's donated so far. Remember, sure. you can just throw in a free dollar with code uh, WNF6, I believe. Here we go. Salyu versus Bushin Style. I'm actually really looking forward to this match. I saw uh, Sal get informed that he was playing Bushin Style, and he was not pleased. No one ever is. <laughs> Yeah, dude, he's just so erratic. Like, I can't get a read on him personally, mm -hmm. but I feel like nobody else can either. That makes me feel a lot better about myself. Yeah, for sure. That's definitely one of the strengths of the player, but Sal Yu has gotten a read this first game. Reset. Oh, and he yeah. blocks, yeah. Who should Sal actually block him? See, he's full of surprises. He's full of surprises. Oh, That's not fierce. real. That was sick. Sit down. Sal already oh, emphasizing dude. the point that those gimmicks aren't going to work. There is no surprise about that fierce from Yuri. Definitely not. The handshake of death. And it crush counters? By God almighty. Oh that is the go-to button. Yeah. That just breaks breaks your spirit. Every time I hear the, the glass break with that handshake, I never want to touch that man's A hand little again. piece of your soul is gone. Dude. Every time. He steals it. Oh, he's still from his face. Doesn't get the full charge. He tried to save for the moment, but he got caught with his hands down. Bushin style now with the corner advantage. Same oh, side. Yeah, didn't cross up. Oh, back to the other side. Sao Yu a little hesitant about pressing a button and gets opened up. Ugh, slap down. All the fierces in the world, more damage. Oh, a couple of shorts killing the frames. We're gonna see for the side switch. Oh yeah. Which way are we going? Cross yeah. up or not? Nah? Oh, he Ooh, does. He doesn't block that. He doesn't block the overhead. Nobody man. blocks the overhead. Come on. Oh, he let him free. He let him free too early. The stream's not over. Oh. The EX headbutt doesn't run into it. No, it definitely works. Ugh. Still alive. Salyu has taken a slight leap. Bushin style with full critical art. Does Sal want to throw a fireball? Nah, I don't think so. Yeah, oh. he's dead. Oh. It he like should have thrown a fireball. Yeah, it looked like Salyu knew he was going to get chipped out, so he tried to do something. Ended up just getting hit. Whew. But hey, Sal at least has a bar to work with now coming into the final round. Fine. That's good to know. Like, you know, yeah. he has something. Ooh, yeah, it made him waste the super. Do have the advantage going into round three, Bushido. That's definitely a common frame strategy to see with Yuri as the crowd short is the fan fierce. He skilled up, manages to dodge the dive kick. I like that. Crowd fierce, cancel. 
Yeah, that corner cut. Man, that's so tricky. I thought that was going to be a knockdown. Yeah, it was not. The standing reset gets the throw as well. Sayu does have his V trigger on deck. You're gonna, I like the, the backup from Bushin style. Ooh. Specifically so he wouldn't be in this space. He got mixed up. He was not ready to block that over here. He still got some sugar though. I oh! like that. It's his, it's his tornado that now. Was sick. He sent your tornado oh to the shadow God. realm. It's sick. The reaction V trigger in response to the Rashid V trigger from Salyu. That was dope. You've just activated my trap card. Yeah, he was, a, he was scheming. <laughs> he pulled it out of that his pocket. That was face down on the field. He hella could have critical art. But it doesn't matter. You're absolutely right. Absolutely right. The jam session, it would Rashid be in the building. Wait. Great anti-air super. I killed his ass. That would have been free. Yeah, as I soon as he goes airborne, that's instant critical art and that's death. Yeah. I think that just, uh, it's how you, you know, is a man of many characters. So I think that was just uh, him catching a little bit of inexperience with Yuri and didn't quite think of the super in time. I think he would definitely work things out a little easier using Karen. In my opinion, his oh, Karen, Karen is very top notch, and I feel like she does very well in this. Match. Yeah, he's been seemingly shying away from the character lately, but yeah, the character's shown that he's definitely still a very good character, and he's a very good player on it. So, yeah. however, he will be sticking with Yurian. Salyu Kaiba, <laughs> man, Kyobi, you're the best. Well, my man, Yurian's got the Kaiba suit, dog. He's definitely the type of dude that would carry his Yu-Gi-Oh cards in a briefcase. He just came out of a Kaiba Corp meeting, dude, yeah. with all the execs. Yeah. Oh, nice anti air. air. Yushido. <laughs> God. V Trigger oh, does not connect with the dive kick. That's fortunate for Salyu. They need a bunch of damage. No anti to be had. He's just letting him run all over. Him. Yeah, back dash. And then hitting the wall dive. Doesn't cross up that time. Close Aegis. Nice uh, response from uh, Lucian style, though. He didn't press the button. He was scared. He could have gotten EX headbutt, but he just like, oh, there it is. Speaking of EX headbutt, Lucian style waiting on it, baits it out in the full punish for the round. This is the most patient I've ever seen uh, Lucian style play. Damn, someone in the chat said he's not Mo he's not Kaiba, he's Mokuba. Yo, you don't do like my right don't now. do my mess out like that. I don't care if he's gonna lose. Look, man, it's match point for uh, you. That's messed up. You should know playing with the heart of the card. <laughs> it's all instinct. He's about to unlock his Rashid is, Rashid players definitely play with the heart of the cards, sure. that's for sure. Ooh. They just top deck oh, everything. Oh, EX headbutt. We got some, oh, we got to believe. It's fine. He's still in the game. If who is going to believe harder? That is my question <laughs> for the rest of this game. What he needs to do is play like Revo. Just throw all of Exodia overboard. That's Toss it in the water bro. of Lake Minnetonka. The spinning mixer to close some distance. Oh, the, he tried to press the button afterwards. EX spinning mixer. Saving it for the finals, dude. Oh, that's a close hit. Ages. Joe goes off with the EX tackle. Yeah, oh, that's a close one. Oh, it bounced weird. God, it definitely bounced weird. He cannot yeah. capture the tornado anymore. No, it just fucking gone. EX spinning mixer barely oh. hits him. Jump back, fierce. He oh, bent no. the farm on that air fireball. He still has control. Is he going to throw another fireball? He should. EX? No. It's a regular. I would V-Skill. I would V-Skill. V-Skill, please. No. Nope. Oh, no punish. Crouch Fear is oh. still not in the lead. One more hit for any of these guys. Horrible. Oh, still scheming on it. Yushido. Oh, oh, Crouch Fear. Oh, EX headbutt manages to dodge with the jump. Ten seconds left, and he got caught back dashing. Bush and Sal. Nothing but the heart of the cards. Yo. Yeah. Yushido. That is Let for it rip. sure. That is lesson one at the Bushin Dojo. You believe in the heart of the cards. What? What? The hell? I don't know. He's talking some trash. I don't like it. I don't like it. Just take your win and leave. Uh, he wants to. Know. He wants to upload this directly to YouTube or something. Yeah, I think so. He's like, wants yeah, I want this for my the for share my fans feature. Back What's home? happening here? Oh, he wants to put the camera. God, what a jerk! I lost all serious? respect for this man. Sal, you are better than that, fam. You don't gotta take that. Sal, don't take that. Sal, don't gotta take that. Sal, don't take that. I don't walk. No, up. don't talk to me like that. No, I don't like it. I don't I like you. No. Nope. I would have walked nope. up and been like, I am I not your smacked, disciple, sir. I would have smacked the baldest spot in his head just to get that sound. <laughs> I hella would have done that. <laughs> he says he loves me. Take that shit wow. somewhere else, man. It's the heartbreak hotel in this bitch. I'm not. I mean, he didn't do it to you. He didn't do it to you. He did it to Sal. Sorry, that was just. It was just upsetting. I'm just saying. I mean, I if you mean, did it to me, I, I don't feel mean like to curse that, too. that much. It's just like, <laughs> I don't like it. V 
V triggered. He gave me all the meter and I V triggered. Yeah, but what you need to actually V trigger is right over to HyperX.com for the best gaming headset under $50. Buy it right now. Sell out. Long time sponsor of Wednesday Night Fights. Always here each and every week. Willing and dealing with the best headsets in the business. <laughs> He's looking at me dead in the eye. I'm trying really hard not to stare him back. It's just, it's so, it's, it's nah, so that tantalizing. Was a, that was a warm up. That was a warm up. I like your, I like your sex. That was a warm up. Nah. That was my fault. Was I didn't, I didn't set up the volley it's good right. enough for a sec. It's all right. I'm trying to work with him right now, but that was my fault. That was my bad stream. Right, Let's talk for a second. Don't worry about it. See, nope, I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> See, you can't just hit me with another one right there. That's Kyobi's fault. Coupon no, code WNF 2017 for ten dollars off orders here that you see before you clean with the drone for the ps4 ps3 and pc the guardian joystick backpack and the carbon pc android joystick for your travel needs I don't need to pick up guardian, bro so my wednesday so my te2 actually broke recently oh. so i have gone back to my old ass eight arc bro i got that eight arc in like 2011 i think and it still works so well Eight arcs are nice. They're hella sturdy. Eight arcs are so good. They're super sturdy. You can check it out for yourself at eightarc.com or cornballusa.com as well. Shouts Again, to use that WNF2017 for ten dollars off your order. Shout out to all the people that bought that stick. It was the one where it was the PS3, Xbox 360, and PC. Yeah. You know, when that was like brand new, I was like, yo, I gotta get one of those. That was indeed the hot commodity, and it sold out so. Cool. And I still have mine, and it still works. I am. I have not replaced a button or a stick, and it still. Is in pristine condition. They're super sturdy, and they were a very uh, good weight. Oh like yeah, they kept it very sturdy on your lap. Like you for could sure. play and do all the motions as fast as you want and react to something, and it wouldn't like fling off of your lap. That was my favorite thing about like certain sticks. Yeah, it's like if it's sturdy enough for me to play and like mash on. Yeah, then I love it. Mystic Namja, because you're an OG, I'll tell you what you missed about Bushin style. This guy Bushin style was like, Yo Kiobi, put the cameras back on me and Sal. And then he did, and he made Sal do the Bushin, the Bushin sign. I couldn't believe that. The disrespect levels are high. He's not only disrespecting Sal, but he's disrespecting everybody at the command center. Yeah. Like, you don't tell us what to do. What we, in the world? <laughs> we, we tell you we what work, to do. Yeah. We work the captains. Twice. How dare you? We are the captain now. Oh, my gutter magic. Been putting in a lot of work tonight, actually, with that Zangi. The yeah, Santa Claus outfit. I'm a big fan of this. Dude, okay, this guy plays like a nut. In a very, in a very great way. This is not to, not to oh, like, no. downplay his game. Nah, he's, he's been like that since Thunder, since Killer Instinct, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Top he, eight at Evo. Yeah, exactly. He's second at Evo, even. Yeah. Uh, he's a, uh, yeah, definitely just a player with very hard to read. Excels on the grapplers, like the Zangief, like the Thunder. Ooh. Oh my God, the reads are so immaculate with better magic. Yeah. yeah. And Jacob Diaz with the bubblegum Dawson cannot yeah. escape. Look, he didn't even need to do that, but he got so much meter off of that as well. It's just so intimidating. Now he's setting you up afterwards. Round if you try to get out of the SPD range, he's definitely going to hit you with the normal. Oh, yeah. He's so hard to read. And you see, he's just taking that space that Dawson gave him, doing some lariats. In case he does a, a normal and he can build meter at the same time. Yeah. Thank you, very, very much for keeping his cool this time around. Yeah, he actually hopped over oh. the low forward and the reset with the running bear grab. Headbutt. Oh, try for a welcome DX SPD. Oh, you got him. Got to react to Oh, wait a minute. Hold the phone. So much great life. He's been at all in this sequence right now. Oh, back dashes to the jab SPD. That's not going to be enough. Yeah, that's not free. That's hella not free. Off a of jab. Yeah, see, exactly. Off a of jab SPD, he shouldn't be getting Zong sent yeah. here. Though. Wins. Yeah. You need, a, you need a quick rise that bad. Yeah. <laughs> What's happening? Yeah. First win. For player coach, uh, coach Stupendous opting to not coach him, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. The spot of all was just like, I'm out of here, man. Yeah, good luck. Like, good you seem to be getting bodies. Yeah. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> so long. Oh, oh the reactions. All right. Gunner Magic in the building. Nice whiff punish. That's decent, actually, I should say. Still got the hit. Wow. The Are you Brown kidding house me? Crush counter. He hit him with the toenails of the bear suit, dude. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, the forward oh, medium kick's definitely... Oh, he, didn't, so he didn't get to convert off of that. Yeah. He's out of there, though. What? Oh, if Tyrant was here, he would have turned off the console. EX SPD from the air strong. If UM Tyrant was here, he would have turned off the PlayStation 4 what instantly. What the hell was that? How did that hit? Gutter magic. Really pulling out the magic so far in this set. 
Oh, Degadias still nice. closing it in. Keeping it safe. I like it. I'm rooting for the boy Degadias. That this was is so tough. Round two. Oh, good point. Let's start looking at that man's face. He's coming from the streets. Is Gunner Magic moves. up 1 0? Did that happen? Yeah, man. Man, I have. This set has been crazy so far. It was off of a jab SPD and then he jabbed him. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. And Diggy D has actually put Stu in the losers, so this is his second heap going up against. Yeah, that's why Stupendous was kind of like, what the hell? Yeah. What oh, was the running back oh. on the back you dash? He is stunned. Away. Where are you Fierce going? SPD. Let's build some meter. Oh, no, he mashed what? out of it. A jerk. No punish. We got a explosive oh, suplex. You better make him pay for it, Brian. And Tiers with the roundhouse sweep. Activates the V trigger for full screen. I like Flexed it. Up. Yes, he's like walking up with him just to kind of control the space. Oh. To check him. Right, so the the trigger. Oh! Thank you. Diaz knew the knew the jump was coming. He wanted to get out of the great life situation that he was building, but couldn't quite find the right anti air. Gutter Magic with the jump in is on game point. You see Cutter Magic mouthing along with the announcer. Final round. I love this guy, but he plays like a threat. And it oh frustrates. no! Yeah. Nice check with the sweep. Very fortunate for Danka Diaz oh, now. Try for some type of EX move. If the EX down. SPD didn't grab his limb, I would have tossed the table <laughs> up. Oh my god. Roundhouse push counter, right? So the EX tombstone. What's the setup? Oh, try to flex on him, expecting him to poke back. Ugh. Crush counter on the roundhouse. Big jump in. That's not a good look for Danka Diaz. This is so much damage. He said, no, he's going for the damage for the setup afterwards. It's the tough time. EX toast. Oh. Bruh, he hasn't done that the entire set. What a way to pull it out for Nationals. Back throw, exploder, wins. suplex, gutter magic seals the deal against what Dawson. Fun, what a fun game to play. 7-3? <laughs> what a fun matchup to play, I should say. Zangief, Dawson, the tables have turned. Gutter magic pulling it out of the streets. Yeah, and I think that's, uh, I think that's a good... This was a good night for Geef players to watch that matchup because you got to see Stu play it and you got to see Gutter play it. See, that's the thing, like, Gutter Magic won't respect you ever. Exactly. I think that's what he has going for him as a Zangief player. Exactly. Like, with Stu, he's definitely, he's really good at the, the OSs, the footsies. He, like, makes that character work in ways that nobody else does. Yeah. But with Gutter Magic, he rides that momentum once he gets it harder than almost anybody. Yeah. So that was an awesome play from Gutter Magic for sure. Yeah. Kind of, like, emphasizing on Stupendous as well, he's more of an adaptive kind of player. Yeah. He won't really make the first move unless he's, he, he feels like, He's already instilled that fear. But for the most part, he'll definitely play the neutral and kind of counter poke you on the way out. Speaking of on the way out, Tasty Steve is out of the building. I'm still working on those hats. It's not me, it's my cousin, man. I know you do, I know you do. Oh, I, I know you. the hats I got you, I got you, I got you, I promise. Hey, safe travels to Atlanta. Safe travels to Atlanta, please. Yeah, so you guys can catch next week, Tasty Jam, Steve and Steve, as well as Z and Rip. We'll be all casting, full spell casting at E League for the Street Fighter V Invitational Tournament. Should be pretty sick. Be sure to raise your hands and lend them your spirit bomb, all your spirit energy. Oh man, we are so close. $16 away oh from a $500 pop bonus, courtesy of the fine folks at home and Macharino. I dare you to put $8. I'll do it if you do it. Okay, good. What? I dare you to put $8. No, I'm letting the people at home do it. I'll do it if you do it. You, you do it, and then the people at home all have to put in $8. Imagine that. I mean, the, is, the, is it capped the at 500 people, right? Or does I it don't go know. past? I don't think so. Is that a thing where it goes past the cap, KLB? Is know? there a cap? 500 is not the cap. We can go beyond that if we want to. Damn. There you go. Yo, stream, if I put $8, y'all got to put $8. Is there a way to, like, showcase if I put $8? To like put See, me on yeah, Steve had I'm to. I'm not sure. Okay, Steve well. had to bounce, man, because he's going to Atlanta tomorrow oh, for yeah. Ely. 10.30 flight. That means he's got to get the hell yeah. out of here by yeah. 7. Yeah. And you know I mean, he's out of his house. Yeah, you know exactly. he's never on time. Good I'll luck be if honest. Steve even makes that flight, honestly. Right, here we go. Michael Na, a lot more of the uh, footsie kind of player. He's very strong oh, yeah. in the department. And we'll see, Good checks. We'll see have to, how. Oh, wow. We'll have to see how he does That's against not real. Like, if you just keep mashing it, eventually, if he lets go, that's going to be a counter. No, hit. yeah, for sure. He seems very uh, attuned to this matchup. Wow. Fifth punishes. That was an awesome whip punch Dash up from Mike Elna. He tried. <laughs> I thought he was in regular grab. Oh yeah. my god! Crouch another fierce. one. Another whip punish with the crouch fierce. He's so good, Mike Elna. Already getting round one pretty fast. Yeah, I'm really interested in seeing this because he's a footy player. Oh my god, he exists. But like with Vega, there's no like projectile or anything like that, so you have to get in a range where it's dangerous still. Oh, the running up works on everybody. And we talked about this. Gutter Magic when he gets that momentum. 
He rides it so well. Look Yo, at that. get out of here. No Near roses perfect. for you. What it was is I think Michael and I got caught pressing a button, trying to just get out, but he got counter hit in the first place, and the V skills just came out anyway. Or the V trigger. Oh yeah, I also want to give a quick shout out to Mr. Arturo Sanchez for taking NLBC this week. Yeah. Well done, congrats. sir. Old viewer Russell. Good stuff, young Sabin. Headbutt to keep him locked down in the corner for now. Checking him. God, oh. that is stun. Yeah. That is done. a dead. He's done. Thing. So gutter magic, yeah, you saw. He was playing it nice and slow, just annoying him with buttons, making sure he couldn't go anywhere. And at the, the last time, the last time where it's going to stun, EX wrap up. Dude, he's so unreadable, in my opinion. He was on my stream just whooping oh, me. He would be 10-1, and then I was like, I want the run back because I want to learn. I learned nothing. 10-0. Yeah. 20 to 1, bro. I learned not a goddamn thing. Dude, Gutter is so real. I learned nothing. Yeah, in case you guys are familiar with Gunner Magic, he has placed second at EVO for Killer Instinct and playing Thunder. Like, yeah. he is a grappler player. He is, excels on these characters. Yeah. He's very dangerous. Not only is he an explosive player to watch, but he's very explosive IRL. When he was popping off on the EVO stage, you heard it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No oh, answers. Man, I just want to talk about that jump. So he has a pretty high jump, right? But then when he sticks out medium kick, it lowers it by 50%, in my opinion. Yeah. No whip punches there. There it is, oh. yeah. If there's a quick move. That's when damage. he changes it up. He goes from medium kicks and he starts throwing out the fierce and the roundhouses. Yeah, exactly. Good job from Mike. Oh, so far charged with the standing command grab reset. Better magic. Oh Not even going to take too much momentum. Mike Elnaz's defense is real solid right now. Nice B-trigger cancel. Nice anti-air. Getting under that. That's so sick. Mike Elnaz. Oh! His forward manages to dodge the normal. Again, taking his back. Oh, man. You just got to keep it cool, Mike. Oh, so then tries to block. Oh, he nice. just needs one. EX SPD. It's I don't think he's really dead really close, yet. though. Never mind. Boy, was I wrong. EX Tombstone. That's all he needed. Gee golly, mister. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Mike oh, Elnaz <laughs> turns to the side. <laughs> looks, oh. at, looks as confused by that damage as I was by your voice. Oh. Nice. Just jabbing it out. Oh, back to back, huh? Oh, he tried for it, but Gutter Magic was looking for it. You can't condition Gutter Magic. No. Again, yeah. look, yeah. Look, yeah. Just doing the same thing. A little bit out of range for the combo. That's going to oh. let Gutter Magic live and get a crush counter fierce. You let Oh, and the reset into a back throw? You let him be loose. A jerk? You let him loose. This Bruh, is your fault. That's all he needed. The one hit. Gutter Magic turns it around. Reset. Oh, oh he just takes the damage. What are we doing? There you go. Oh, Stan, yeah, he laughs. He just laughs away at Stan Jab. He just chuckled, Zonia moved back wins. from the Vertigo chair. He's like, I got this. I, I feel like I've never seen Stan Jab used like that. I feel like it's only been like anti air. Like, usually in that situation, they press crouch jab. It's so like, slow. It's like three frames on the top, and then the last four frames towards the end. Man, he's still a chuckling. Joker. He's still chuckling while he's putting his stick away. Got oh, it. man. I'm glad we're friends. <laughs> I'm so glad we're friends. Yeah, it's not good to be enemies. Because if guy. we were enemies, I would be. Living. That guy makes you feel like, like if you're an enemy of him and you lose, you're gonna feel like trash. He's the kind of guy that questions like, like ever playing Street Fighter. Oh yeah. Like, why am I even trying to be a professional when Gutter Matter Ma Gutter Magic exists? Gutter Magic in his damn breakaway jersey. This isn't even his main game, vicious. It's not, dude. Damn, he has made it all the way to lose to be fair, he sucks at breakaway. Oh, he sucks at breakaway. All right, all right. That's good enough. We, I'll call him. I hope he watches the archive. <laughs> Gutter, suck at breakaway. No, I'm just kidding. You're yeah. all right. You're all right. Your offense is good, but you need to work as a team, you know what I'm saying? It's a team game. But, uh, so, Gutter Magic sitting uh, nice and pretty, pretty far along the brackets. Okay. Yeah, and they, they said loser semis, right? Yeah, so, we just have Bush and Style and Stupendous, which is already on Nick Tanella right now. Cool. So, slash Nick Tanella. we are waiting on that. We got no other matches at the moment. All right. All right, well, let's talk some stuff about earlier. You were watching uh, Say Jam talk about Chris Terrian. <laughs> are you listening and uh, commentating oh, yeah. with him while he was doing so? Yeah, it was just, you know. That's the hot topic. I feel like Chris Terrian is always the hot topic. Is he going to E-League? He is, right, or no? Yeah, he is. He is, right? All right. Yeah. Let's so make sure to check out young Chris Terrian, House Terrian. Yeah. Next week at E-League as well. Gutter Magic is. He's he's jogging in place behind he the is a, He, he is, is pleased right. with his performance here tonight. Yeah, was at fights, for sure. He rarely comes out. And when he does, it's always a show with him. Yeah. Also, I feel like it's a time to plug myself, man. Twitch.tv slash SFB underscore vicious. If you want to see more of me getting bodied by Gutter Magic, check out the archives. 
it was literally 20 to 1. Like, if you don't want to watch that, I understand, but if you want to see me get bopped, it's very much so enjoyable. You can feel the salt. I mean, a lot of people find Geek veins. Play really entertaining. So, I'm sure there will be at least a couple people interested in yeah. a 20 to 1 from a, for a Geek. Yeah. But, um, yeah, there's always, every week, you can check out, there's multiple streams here at Wizzy Night Fights. Of course, twitch.tv slash Nick Tanella, Street Fighter Five, always, all the way through. Yeah. Um, there's twitch.tv slash Kevin underscore Hall for Marvel. Right. Uh, twitch.tv slash Wondering Wolf for Guilty Gear. And um, Smash GG or something like that, or 2GG for Smash, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, each and every week, there's multiple streams. You can always check it out in the chat as well with uh, exclamation point WNF streams. Yeah, and if you yeah. just so happen to be new to Wednesday Night Fights, uh, welcome and thank you for tuning in. We also have Street Fighter 4 coming back, uh, I think, next week, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Um, they they do it every, first Wednesday of every month, right? Oh, I'm sorry. The, the first of the month is like Saturday in April, so the week after. It's not uh, next two, week. I would say two weeks. Two weeks. Now. Yeah, it's not, two yeah, not next we week. We have uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4 Revival, uh, hosted Ooh. by Brent is Cool. So twitch.tv slash Brent is Cool. You'll be able to find that. And, uh, 486. All right. Not bad. So we got two extra dollars since the last time we pushed this. And again, you guys have been so awesome to really use Matcharino to provide for the players. You guys are definitely putting it to a good cause. These guys are definitely more and more hungry every week because of you guys putting in the work and pushing this Matcharino. It's you know, so, cool. speaking of like fan run pop bonuses, what happened to that Wallach Gaff guy? I miss him. Yo, shout out to Wallach Maybe he's Gaff. been contributing. At least like 200 of this 486. So, right? Maybe. Yeah, that guy's been putting in the work. He put $100 like three weeks like, straight. Yeah, like three or four weeks straight. That's godlike. I yeah. miss that guy. Well, like Ashley, shout out. Big shout out to everyone watching right now. I don't mean to sound biased, but I hope Jesse goes as far as possible because if he gets any of the top three, he's going to get paid one. But I'm his ride home and he's going to buy me some tacos. Ooh. Yeah. I like man. that tech. Takaria de Anda, 24 hours. Man, that's I can't how we do wait. it, homeboy. Okay. That's how we do it. Yeah. So, you, so, oh, Dennis. Yeah, the Dennis gave me the Whew. the rapid the, the fire eyebrows, dude. Uh, so, all right. So, you're you're pretty good friends with Jesse, right? Absolutely. All right, Dolly to, boys to the end. I got a question for you. Give me the lore about this Tupac hat. Bro, he just bought it. He thought where it was he, dope. Where did he get the? Where did he get? He it? won't even tell me. What? It has to keep. It has to be a secret. It has to be the Jesse. He got secret. it from Tupac. Illuminati probably just sent it to him. Because you know he plays Dawson pretty well. I feel that. Round one. He's esports Jesse now. I don't know yeah. if you know this, but he's definitely esports Jesse. Oh, All right. Exclusive ah. Tupac yeah. esports Jesse. Yeah, definitely not Gordon Gutter Magic nor Mike Ono. Coming up against Bushi Star. Yep. Again, the names will be fixed by Dennis, maybe. No. Hopefully. All right. I mean, hopefully we don't. Oh, okay. That. They, yeah, they have been fixed. Anymore. I'm Dank Commander Jesse. Yeah, this is all gonna be all about Commander Jesse. Trying to keep the Rashid team. Right, you see, he knew the jumper was coming there, just teleport to the other side, trying to give as much screen space as possible. This is not where he wants to be. Definitely not. He's right. out of there. Yeah, he saw the jump out, and he was just... Oh, Ooh, wait a minute. That was... Well, okay, yeah, man, just, just dodged the fireball. I like that challenge for Commander Jesse right there. Did the spinning mixer didn't hit too solid. And that's fine. That teleport, he's willing to risk. He only got anti here with the short. That's fine. Now he gets to play mid-screen where he wants to be. Yeah, good view of Rissa from Busha style right there. Rolling out of the B-Trigger. Fireball time. Commander oh, Jesse just hanging out. Oh. Eagle slight long damage. distance connection. Yeah. Oh, Spinning Tough Mixer, manages the clip from the thumb down. Throw him into the corner. What we got? Wake up Jeff from Commander Jesse. He reverses the whirlwind. Oh, into the tornado. Nice no blocks. blocks. He could have went for more. He could have yeah. gone for the Clash Fierce. No big combo. Spinning Mixer barely hits. Oh, yeah, you can't press the button after that. Gales, good pressure. Oh, I was going to say 10 seconds left, but Commander Jesse doesn't need it. Yeah. That Gale is so cool, too. That's like a throw tech option select as well. Yeah, I love that. Definitely, uh, considering that Dawson doesn't have access to the OS, like the jump back OS, well, he does, but it's very dangerous for him. Yeah, he has a slow, he's a slow jump. Yeah, the Gale is a, is a cool option. Jesse's just so, he's so hard to play against because he's so patient. He's willing to lame it out. But then when he gets turned on, it's just oh. something else. It's such a spectacle. Last break, this is the momentum which style wants to start up. You out of there. No EX whirlwind pressure for you. Yeah, you can't anti-air that. That's just too difficult. Who jump fierce from machine? It's just so far hitting. 
Good to try to check him, yeah. Man, Jesse staying disciplined until that. That's a stun. Yeah, and I respect that though, because he was trying to hold on to feature and he didn't get to use it once. He used it majority of the time just to get out of pressure. And I feel like he might have fought to use it early. Like he was a short slide just to kind of test him. He didn't find the opportunity. Yeah, but the wall kick, that's not a good way for Commander Jesse to start the round. It's a big chunk of damage. Oh, however. Caught him at the toes. Again. Again. Oh, just this time the media biz gave Bush style a chance. Anti air with a stand jab. Very nice. And I like the change up from Jesse from his drill kicks this time around. He's definitely changed up the arc, getting the angles right so it hits at the tip. Yeah, Commander Jesse immediately teleporting out as soon as he saw the B trigger. Oh, nice stand. Strong to put it into the EX spike. Get the start up right out of the air. That was, that was pretty cool. Ice is in your face this time. Spinning mixer able to catch the slide. The blocks from Jesse. Right, oh, base God Acne. Yeah. That's what he said. Base God Acne. Damn. Man, just Tell me that doesn't sound like it. I gotta listen close. I gotta listen real close next time. Dawson yeah, next thing you hear, critical artist, base God Acne. Okay. Dawson seems like a little B fan to me, personally. For sure. For sure. One no commander Jesse. How was Kyobi back there? What? what? Banning the stations. What is this sorcery? Teleports out doesn't want to deal with the jumping pressure. Again, at the right angles is those dive kicks. Now he's plus every yeah. time he lands. He gets, yeah. It's his turn to play, basically. Oh, right there. That was just slightly up a little bit more than usual. Bush style challenge. Nice weedy pick up the test. Yeah, most of these drills have been so on point with commander Jesse. Bush's style roundhouse. Bring him afterwards with Commander Jesse, not the turd. He's presenting him with the mysteries of yoga, asking all the questions. He's just dictating the pace. He's like, is it your kind of play? Nah, I don't think it's We gotta deal with the V trigger as well. Oh, try for Neex Gale up there, trying to challenge the tornado, it seems. I feel like he did that to kind of nullify two of the hits yeah. so that it's out faster. Yeah. A little too far out. I have Bushin style. Trying to punish. Nice tech from Bushin style right there. Commander Jesse, we've seen been going to the Gales after the dive kick to try to uh, deter that, but. Mm, we caught him pressing roundhouse. A wish and a prayer again to jump fierce. That was pretty lucky. Yeah. Round two. Dude, Bushin style is definitely going to pop off on Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good defense from Bushin style in the last round. Uh, Speaking of great defense, look at Jesse. Oh, well, so much for that. All the white life gone. And he's just building it more and more. The chip, oh, and the jump is going to do a nice chunk. Oh, my God. He's going to give Jesse a little bit of life. Look at the short slide. And now a V-reversal. No teleport out. There it is. But Bushin style was waiting on it. Checks it. And that was a good trade-off because you saw all that life from Bushin style. He had so much oh. array oh. life. Bushin style kind of caught on the lights right now. Commander Jesse scrambling oh, to perfection. Oh, oh. 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 we caught him pressing grab. Oh. Let's go, Jess. You hardly ever see Dalsims initiate the scramble pace. But Commander Jesse did, and he took full advantage of it. That was very well played. Match point for Commander Jesse. Oh, check your cabeza. Yeah, strong, getting him out of the air. You got to think Lucian Style is definitely going to go into panic mode. He went for the eagle, uh, Eagles play. Oh, yeah. Full screen. Contras is in the EX World 1, continuing the pressure, trying to get him on a counter hit. Commander Jesse staying solid. EX Rowan that time gets the throw. Commander Jesse doesn't want to get counter hit. Fireballs meet in the air. Oh, again, though, Bushin style been on point with checking all the teleports. Man, he's been pressing all the buttons and all of them are connecting right now. Oh, doesn't spin the viewer, Russell. Interesting. It looks like he wants that V trigger. He also would have put himself in the corner. Face God Agni. Out of it. Three out damage. Here. Delayed rise. Oh. Man, just to wake up with a light kick. Yo, oh, oh man, he got, got caught tagged. in the limbs, yeah. The tornado was still there for a little bit. EX rolling pressure. Gets him with a throw in and it's tied up 1-1. One, one. This should be, uh, you said this is loser's side, right? Rush. Uh, I think so. Yes. Yeah, Dennis is nodding his head in approval. That is the loser's side. So. I believe one of this will then face uh, Gunner Magic, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. That is correct. So there's these, uh, Round one. I don't know why I'm questioning how many matches there are. It's not a strong answer here. It's all right, man. I understand it's late here on Wednesday night fights. Spinning mixer. Trying to push him towards the corner. Commander Jesse forever. 
trying to prevent that as he has side switch, has most of the screen back to him. Nice. Nice and anti Perfectly sniped in place. Uh, again, you gotta check your BDs, man. Stand short yeah, from uh, pushing the spell. Shouldn't be getting away with that by now. Very common problem in this game considering the uh, plethora of wake up options. Sometimes the BDs aren't on point. That's so sick! Jesse knew the startup wasn't gonna be enough. You stand strong to trade in his favor. Round two. Should be match point. Point. Oh, spinning mixer just sails right under. Yeah, he's too high to convert anything off of that drill kick as well. So. Exactly. Drill knocked him right in the dome, so he's not gonna combo off of that. Action. Under Jesse. Anti air again. Had to see it coming, right? Yeah. Yeah, especially once he saw the fireball, he was definitely gonna do something. Ooh. Oh, tries to get him with a shimmy. Man, yes, he's staying solid. No throw text. Still no throw text. Short slide. Oh my god. Oh, look at his face. Oh, blocks the overhead. The face of determination. Wow. Spinning makes a power up. Good tech on the throw. Command Jesse. Playing that good defense. Still holding on defense. to that V meter. Not using a V reversal. Gets out. Bush style. Does check him with the jab. Oh, good overhead block. Blocks. That's minus six. He should have punished. Base god Agni. Base got Agni. Super holds mix it. Up. What's the mix up? Oh. He does it block. Let's go, Jesse. Let's go. Bush Nobody blocks style. that. Check your Bush ass. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey. Hey, yo. Hey, yo, Jesse. No, no, you got to throw up. Bush style. You got to throw it up. That was nice. I thought he was gonna go for the teleport. Boy, would I would no. I would have lost it in, nah. in a heartbeat. Check your ankles. This is rule number one. Come on, man. They don't block low. Never block low. They never block low. Remember this. That was so sick, man. Twitch.tv slash Commander Jesse. You better check that boy out after this, cause that dude plays. All I know is that guy Tupac. can play. Huh? All I know is that guy can play. Yes, sir. Commander so Jesse. Putting in work like Damn. he does each and every week here at Wednesday Night Fights. Man, I'm sorry if I blew out your eardrums. No. I went in. That was You got hyped, but it didn't sound like it cracked or anything like that. God bless. That was exactly what I needed. All right, it's going to be even better. Now we got Gutter Magic. So this match, yeah, it's going to be to get into Losers Finals. Yeah. To secure your place somewhere in the top three. Yeah, so winner's side, or actually further along... I don't know if that's a tournament match like Twitch on TV slash Pixanella. Uh oh. That can't Probably be. Not. I, don't know, I don't know if Valiant's still. Oh, no, no, no. Valiant like. versus Sal is definitely oh. casual. Okay. Uh. Uh, yeah, they're packing up. All right. Yeah. So we have our top three confirmed. Yeah. Well, this this will be whoever gets wins this will be in loser's final. Yeah. Excellent. So this is top four action. And we got Gutter Magic again against another Dawson. We'll see how Commander Jesse plays this. Take yeah. a D is a uh, fell, <laughs> fell to the momentum. I guess it's like the new version of the Trinity. You got Jesse, Stupendous, Round and Dengadius. Mm. They're the only Dawson players Point. here. Jesse, Stupendous, and Dengadius? Yeah. Is that what you just said? The Trinity. Stupendous don't play Dawson? Oh, I'm sorry. Fuck. Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? What did I say, Stupendous? I keep thinking he's Dawson. I don't know why. I was like, what are you talking I'm about? I'm tired. I'm tired. Dengadius, yeah. yeah. All right. Dennis gave me Dennis anyway. gave me the thumbs down. He's like, stick by for the rest of the evening. Look, man, I'm tired. Thumbs down. All right. Anyway, let's get to this top four action. Good imagine versus Commander Jesse. Commander Jesse I'm such a new playing man. this a little bit better than Degadia so I'm far. Such a new Oh. Keeping him at bay with the limbs. Better that magic that was free. find his way in for the first time. That round. was so free. Come on, man. Where was this earlier? Round two. Oh, oh see? Stupendous is coming to coach Commander Jesse. Oh. Either that or he's talking trash. Yo. And Stupendous is hunched over. Wants to get a good look at this matchup. He is in oh. Jesse's ear. What is this, yo? Wow, the active coach is working out so far. Tags him with the Fierce as well as the EX Fireball for three hits. Oh, oh my god. And then he the Grudge Counter Roundhouse for the stun. Look at oh, Stupendous. Did you see that face? He doesn't like it. Stupendous like, beat this move. Ugh. Oh, does not approve. Oh my god. Look you know, ooh, we talked ooh, about this. Ooh, this face from Stu. We talked ooh. about this on the way over because we were talking about my match against uh, Gutter Magic. And I asked him, Jesse, what did you do about this? He's like, I don't know. I just saw him use four medium kicks and I just kept hitting him every time. That's exactly what just happened right now. Three medium kicks in a row. He's like, you dirty Dawson playing with This is some old bullshit. That's some old boo. some old bullshit. Gutter Magic. Gonna try to find his way in this time, but Commander Jesse throws him right out. Too far. Nerf Fierce. 
Oh, that's so good from Gutter Magic. I love when I see that. The punish on the stand strong with the Lariat. Oh, Crunch counter roundhouse right into the Fierce. Commander Jesse's playing so well, though. You back can't to jump. Fierce. You're not allowed to jump. Oh, no, that's not touching <laughs> anything. Yeah, that's way too far. Oh. Oh, premature on the camera switch. Oh. Oh, and Corey. Yes! <laughs> and then Dagadius with the biggest smug look on his face. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Wednesday night fights. Oh, here we go. Gutter yeah. Magic. Now he gets to play. Set up. Yeah, you gotta see that. We talked about that as well. Yep. Tick throw into running bear grab. Always oh, a factor with Gutter Magic. Oh, the XSPD. Gutter Magic so good at just... Oh, my God! Everybody. Oh, Ooh. my God! Yo, throw this, man. Look at his maniacal look. Spin Norman Bates with a psycho look. Spinny Kyle Driver. Fight. Come on, man. Gutter Magic. The street magician himself. Better than David Blaine. Yo, yes. He is. This man is in the gutters all day. Uh, spell casting away. How do you think he'd be able to beat a Dawson? Oh. He's the only one that can do it. <laughs> only one. He's the only one. Well, let's let's the talk about that as if he does it. You know what I'm saying? I'm still 100% Jesse. Oh. And this game, this match, this round is actually still 100% Jesse. As he has not Base lost God a, Agni. a single Set him a blaze. What's the setup? Good oh, block. That was not very tricky. Teleport? Wow. Keep him in check. Still working on a perfect. Oh! You have Tyrant in spirit turning off the PlayStation 4s as we speak. From long distance. Oh my god. Even people around me oh, are putting their head the down. Oh, the empty jump SPD for the That's stun. That was so smart. Gunner even dropped the combo before. Yeah, oh, he got and it. he catches that it. That was the only way that was going to kill him. That was what the only way. But me. Woo. Bruh. Bruh. This man Bruh. gutter magic. Look at this. Damn. Look at, oh. The Dang power. This. She Dude. gave him the <laughs> What is going on? What is going Yo, Corey Bell is the man. Stop harassing oh, that man. Corey Bell is the man. Corey. Oh my god. Get that little boy out of here. <laughs> Gutter Majik. Dude. Dear god. All in the crush counter roundhouse. Right to the stand. Fierce command. Jesse. Trying to even the life lead up. Oh, god. and he takes it now. Crush Fierce into the Gale. Oh. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. All the normals are connecting right now. Fireball. Oh, he punishes the Lariat. There's no condition in Gutter Magic. He'll still run into no, his list. Oh, and he gets, goes right to the V-Trigger. Try to chase him down. One. Gets the chase he down. He just needs one, Rinch. EX Tombstone. Oh, catches him going somewhere. You're not going anywhere with the V-Trigger. Is that going to stun? It is. That's oh, not. not enough. Stay solid. Stay solid. Oh but you can only stay God. solid for so long when the spinning pile driver lurks in the dark. It's so tough, man. You get those block strings going, you don't want to press a button, right? You're going to get counter hit. You try to backdash, you're still going to get body. Yes. Got your magic just knows, man. Street magician extraordinaire. Yeah. He's making a 7-3 oh, wow. matchup. He tried to punish the Larian, but it was still too early. The active Look, frames caught it. In the air. Yeah, airborne fireball. Mm. Oh. So flexy. Lost a lot of great damage, He's so though. so flexy right now. No anti airs there, a little bit too far. Not oh. quite roundhouse. <gasps> Almost caught the muscle again. Oh, crush, crush counter. Trying to find his way in. Yeah. He's triggered, knocks yeah. him out of it. He's telling him, shut up. Yeah, shut up. Crouch fierce in the chin. Crouch or crouch strong, or, excuse me. Or crouch <laughs> strong in the chin. Shut up. What's happening here, Dennis? Fine. Oh, yeah, what's <laughs> Fat fingered the, uh, the transition yeah. a little bit. Fat fingered right. transition to happen. It's all right. Oops. Too hype over there. Oh, tries to get in close. You heard that Jesse was, was ready, yeah. Oh, we gotta chill out. Continuing to put, pester him, pepper him with these normals. Gunner Magic knows he's willing to eat these. Nice he can't answer. eat them for much longer. Activates the V-Trigger. Oh, try to get Commander Jesse. Oh, you button. can't get out of the skies. As soon as you're airborne, he is EXSPD. Oh, backdash. Is that it? Not quite. That is it. Commander Jesse. Yep. Hook, line, and sinker, the classics. We see yes. right there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Gunner went out swinging. Wait, is Vi coming up to play from the winners? Or from the losers? I don't know. Bruh. What is this? Yo, this is rigged. Is this Alex Vi versus Nick Tanella? Top three again? Mr. Vi boys? 
Well, Nick Tanella and Vi have been killing it lately. Why is he even here? Shouldn't it be an E League? Vi? Yeah. yeah. Get your ass out of here, Yeah, man. dude. Forfeit, bro. I'm sick of this guy. <laughs> he on, he been getting all these big old Mascherino pots, and he's like, yeah, that's what I'm talking <laughs> you about. You guys are paying for my flight yeah. to Atlanta. <laughs> like, what the hell? Hey, Jess. Solid. Man. So you got me for tacos, right? <laughs> so you got me for tacos, right? Let's go. Ooh. You heard that. He said, if I win. He said, if I win. I hear the cha-ching. Cha-ching. Yeah, you damn right. Cha-ching. Well, Man. it was a wild ride for Gutter Magic. Uh, from the streets to our hearts, it was a valiant play. I liked uh, every bit of it. Walks away with fourth. Uh, one place shy from the money, but. Mr. Geef's wild ride. It's Mr. Definitely Geef's what, wild ride. It's definitely what Gutter Magic's about. Yeah, dude. This is winner's finals? Wow. Nick Tanella and Alex Valle putting in that work. Tanella back to back going into top three, I believe. This is like his third or fourth week in a row, I think. Yeah, you're right. At least third. A couple weeks ago, he was uh, whooping on Jesse as yeah. well. That's when he, got, he had his star power. Me and Tasty Steve were, were singing the Super Mario star power to him because he was just on He was all invincible. Yo, these Power Ranger emos, I didn't even know those existed. Swag. Are they global? They should be, right? Ay, 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 ay. Wow, there's an IAI one for Alpha 5. Shout out to Kyobi, so our Alpha 5 here yeah, at the. Kyobi is definitely the Alpha 5 of Wednesday Night Fights. Wednesday Night Fights. I'm forever the Pink Ranger. Thank you all for tuning in here as we are winding down our Street Fighter V and Tournament Action for the night. This is top three. What's funny is <laughs> I have that jean jacket that the, what, what was that character? I don't know. I don't really watch uh, Captain Planet too much. Play him. I could definitely cosplay as that girl. Oh, yeah. I just need the, the Captain Planet t-shirt. If somebody could send me a Captain Planet t-shirt, I'll definitely wear it on stream. Definitely. <laughs> Bet. Just do it. Shout out once again to, to Magic Most. Magic Most. I still don't know how to pronounce it. I think it's Most. Most. Magic Most. You are a god of the graphic design. Stream god. He's and I bow down to you. He's a stream yes. god. Fight. Here we go. Winners finals. Level up Cali Power versus Nick Tanella repping that R slash Street Fighter. He needs to represent the R Kappa, man. That'd be sick. Either way. Yeah. Oh. Vaya struggling with the big first blood on that wall kick. Yeah, just do it. Eagle spike full screen. Yeah. Nick Tanella constantly using that, that fast walk speed from uh, Nikali, just to walk back forth. Oh. Spinning Mixer trying to close that distance. I think the, the, the Nick Tanella defense, no jabs to be had, but now it's his turn to play. Ooh, ooh, catches him. He broke Second stand medium kick. Oh, he checked him. He tried to test his medies. And I feel like at high level play, you should really take out jab okay. from your play. When it comes to the final three, you know, I used to think I used to uh, think Nick Tanella would be play a lot of auto, autopilot, right? Like I think that was his big weakness, and I think now he thinks so much about the game. Like, oh, I was I was oh, kind of lost it. in your thought. I missed that. Mix no, so yeah, with Nick Tanella, it just to me he's progressed so much as a player. You know, obviously because he's getting these top threes. But he's showing that he's thinking of these situations in very nuanced ways that he definitely wasn't before. So he reacted to those fireballs and got pretty decent damage as well as that V gauge uh, build up. Again, goal of Nikali, you want to build up that V trigger as fast as possible. Get Whoa. off me. DX up with that. He walked into it intentionally as well just to get it, yeah. rid of it as fast as possible. Great awareness yeah. overall. Yeah, that's what that's the, the type of things I was talking about. Oh, catches him. Trying to get a little too antsy, and now the throw after counter hitting him. Stun. Yeah, he tested him again. That is a frame trap, young man. Stand yeah. jab, stand strong. And Nick Tanella has the, uh, he had the Rashid V trigger on deck too. I'm surprised he didn't uh, try to poke out a crouch jab into V trigger, common to call the tactic, yeah. to get the party started. Yeah, he hasn't gotten the party started all game. Nah, man. Vai in complete control of that first game. Nick Tanella's gonna have to do some thinking. Yeah, there's a specific example in the first game that I wanted to bring up, but I completely forgot what it was. So, Nick Tanella taking a little Round bit of time. One. Back into it. Fight. Pretty clean start for Vaya. He's gonna start off again in his most comfortable state, the neutral pressing opponents. Oh yeah. And Nick Tanella. And Nakali's not too bad at that either. No stomp to be had. He had to do the light one, but either way, yeah. I don't think that would have reached. Tripping <laughs> somebody's, somebody's tripping out over there. It's all right. All right, so back to the neutral again. 
Faye, excellent spacing, excellent footsies, catching the Tanella pretty much off guard this entire game. Continue to push towards the corner. Nick Tanella looking for the neutral jump zone. Oh, and then for a command grab, but Cali Power on the money with the EX spinning mixer. Now he's been sniffing all of Nick Tanella's mix shots. He's just oh, correct. But that time, the double dash into low forward catches him trying to take a throw. Back dash. Dangerous scenario. He's going for the damage. Yeah. Medium. Good blocks. Oh, trying to yes. fight. Yeah, he's bomb. out of there. Party time. Punish. Oh, that is punish. Negative four, and Vaye waited. New Nick Tanella was anti for the EXDP. But he let him live. That was what ambiguous. What side was dog. that on? Well, one leg was on the left side, and the other leg was on the right side. Yeah, I don't know where the actual turn, you know. Right, right down the middle. Dirty. I don't know. That's Dirty tough. old man Vaye. Great start for Vaye. Nick Tanella bobbing and weaving. Three stand strong in a row with a block. That's so sick for Nick Tanella. Stay this one so far. Oh, gets to the counter poke as Nick Tanella is trying to poke. No ants here from Valle. Stay in discipline, not trying to take the grabs. Does check the dash up pressure. Great confirm from Nick Tanella. But again, Cali Power just yelling, get off. Yeah, he's been making Nick Tanella work real hard for the times he gets to play, and then he's just been EX spinning Mixer because Nick Tanella is too antsy. Got to work to bait it out. And I don't blame him, you know? It's so hard to tell when Valle wants to do these kind of things. He's keeping it very ambiguous, and I like that about him. And now he gets to play even more, but Nick Tanella's out of there. Nick Tanella full bar. No confirmance to the big combo. He probably could have had it right there. Oh, Dunk City reset. Meaty stops, he's out of there again. The chase down is real. Cali Power, good read, just jumps back, doesn't eat the command throw. Plenty of time left on the clock for both these players to duke it out. Oh, good poke out, and then the dive kick. I think that was a little bit of a panic from Nick. Yeah, up two games to nothing, Cali Power. But well, I think it was because he just hasn't been able to get in on Valle like he wants to. At all. So at the end right there, he was going for a trick he had him pulled out. He had the dive kick, but I think it was just a little bit too uh, desperate. And the stream producer, Matt, for the Nick Tanella stream, Give him advice, because you know he watches all of Nick Tanella's streams. Yeah. They are definitely the dynamic duo that operates the Nick Tanella stream. Kevin, yeah, thank you all once again for tuning Round in as one. we go into the late hours here, Wednesday night fights approaching 2 o'clock in the morning. We're talking about touching each other's buns in the chat. Come on, man. I see you guys. I Keep see it in the your chat. pants, bro. It's 2 in the morning, man. Level up live after dark. NSFW. Oh, no. It's a little bit too early on the throw. Yeah, that crocs strong me. You can definitely go into stand short of the counter here. Decent, very decent frame shot. Anti airs with a V trigger into the spinning mixer. Very close to stun now. Nick Tanella staying solid. A throw can't stun him though. Oh, good tech. Immaculate defense from Nick Tanella. Oh, spoke too soon. Still in stun territory. Wow, cancel the crotch curse into the Wahoo. Yeah, he's 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 safe now. Three stand stones in a row, Vaya wow. pressed nothing. And then the ESDP directly in response, but the meaties are not on point. Vaya able to wake up with buttons. Oh, he went for no. it again. He, he does not have a read on Vaya. And you can tell the frustration on Nick is really getting to him. Round two. Nick Tadella is flustered. My boy. Completely. Hats off, mask off. Full tilt. Oh, yeah. Can we get the flutes playing, please? <laughs> oh, get off me. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Fierce, um, fierce mixer. Very good answer here. Yeah, I'm just going straight up. Wow, that dive kick hit at a really awkward angle. Can't make too much momentum off of it, though, as Cali Power still looks in complete control of the set. Dunks. Damage time. Dash it up, meaty. Good block from Vibe, but he got caught pressing a button. And then the throw, though. Nick Tanella, the single straight hits he's got, hasn't been able to really turn them into full combos. Oh, no conversion off the two cross jabs. Could have definitely gone into stops, but it's fine. He gets the frame trap on Vaya. Or he just caught him jumping. I couldn't tell because there was no counter hit to be had. Yeah. Final round. Fight. Very sick. Very sick. Nick Tanella on the board with the round. Let's see if he can put himself on the board with the game. This is your winner's final set. Nick Tanella will be facing Commander Jesse if he falls. Super big jumping. Crucial for Nick Tanella. Viewer versus out. Get that space back to work with. He's been a lot more airborne this time around. Vaya hasn't had a response. Oh air to nice. air, that's his response. That's looked pretty damn good. Yeah. No my, yeah, that time he knew that the space wasn't too right for a neutral jump. Just toast to take the block, but Nick Tanella was able to do some momentum. Fates out the DP from Valle. No crush counter punish, but that's still a good one. Yeah, 
Those are all safe. Very tight strings. Very, very tight strings. Yeah, and the EX whirlwind. You're not pressing buttons after that, my friend. 3-0, Alex Valle. Man, Nick Zanella is just flustered. And I was watching him play uh, just the other day against a player. Uh, I think it was uh, another Rashid player. It was a Diamond Rashid player. Huffmaster J was what Huff it was. Huffmaster J? Yeah, and he, had, he definitely has a hard time against uh, Rashid's. And you can tell the frustration on his face that he feels like he should have won because he's definitely practiced that matchup a ton of times. And I don't blame him yeah. because it's very hard to condition a man like Vaya who's been through it all. He's definitely going to take time to just Yeah, Nick Tanel is going to take a walk. Recalibrate. Because I 100% agree with this decision, by the way. After such a loss to Vaya like that, like one where you cannot figure out what the hell to do, you do not need to go into the next match immediately after that. Yeah. It's Take a breather is a smart choice. Definitely if you know it's going to wear on your mental. Like, be smart enough to know that it's going to get to you and it's going to tilt you. Walk away. Take some time to yourself. Like, pro tips. Know, you, yeah, know yourself well enough. Admit, it, admit to yourself that it's going to bother you. Hashtag pro tips. You know? At Ringe underscore. If you know what I am saying. So good stuff from Nick Tanilla. Walks away, gets a drink of water. Going to try to recompose himself for the loser's final set. Wants to get himself some cash, man. Got to get a larger piece of that pie. Yeah. I mean, he's still walking away a winner, in my opinion. I mean, top three is nothing to scoff at. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is a pretty, pretty good, consistent effort from Nick Tanella's end. Yeah. Again, back-to-back -back top eights. Top threes, for that matter. Yeah. Such, uh, such a great performance. And I definitely want to see him uh, perform outside of California. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or even the upcoming majors, NCR and West, West Coast, Coast Warriors. Warriors. Yeah. Up in April. Absolutely. Um, yeah, I think like that just shows his growth as a player, right? Like he was definitely one of those guys that would have given it into the tilt, given into the autopilot super hard. And I think that just shows that he's aware of the mental strides he needs to take as well as you know not just the execution or the the game plan strategies, but it, playing in tournament mentally. Yeah, this so, is definitely going to make him stronger. I mean, he's playing against the likes of a. Of a Old, old man who's been through it all. <laughs> yeah. He's showing you a thing or two about player reads. Exactly. So I'm impressed with Nick Tanella. Having the mind to walk away and recompose himself, going to lose his final set against Commander Jesse. Now, this is always like a, a tough spot for Nick Tanella, in my opinion. So Jesse, again, great with the keep away game. He's had some strats against Nick Tanella. He tends to go airborne. And Jesse always has an answer for someone who goes airborne, right? Crouch yeah. strong or air to air strong. The likes of that. And this is definitely going to test Nick Tanella's patience, especially after that crushing defeat. Yeah, and that's another thing, is that you have to go into the next match against a Dalsim. Also, incredibly effective at annoying you. Yeah, got a pretty meaty on the slide right there, so he's able to stand short into Gale, or into Yoga Flame. Patience. Nick Tanella just walking up, and he found a limb to jump on. That's all Nikali needs. Ooh, immediately pokes back, though. I like that from Commander Jesse. Not going to get bullied for free. Yeah, that's such a tough time. He already had all the gray life in there from the V-Trigger. Couldn't be reversal because obviously he was in Super Saiyan mode. Really unfortunate. But Nixonella now with pretty good resources. Two and a, two and a third of a bar. You cannot jump at him. Ground Swing and a miss from the V-Skill. Yeah. yeah. Man, Jesse looking to find his way back to controlling the matchup. Has a significant life lead now. Air to air, jump, fierce. Or I should say yoga stasis fierce, but whatever, you know what I mean. Yeah. Nice, keep him in check again. When he nailed that wall of defense, oh, slides right under that jump in. Knew he wasn't going to get in time for the crowd strong anti air. Activation time. Nick Tanella, his turn to play. Oh, tried for the fierce crush counter. Oh, no. I don't know what that was. I mean,. Could have been from a cross position, walk up jab. Dolphin I don't know. Win. But it, I felt like that was a input error more so than a hard read. Yeah, probably. Could have still been a little bit of frustration left over from the last game. Might be. He's definitely gonna has he definitely has to reconsider uh, going to character select and just kinda chill out for a bit. Because Jesse Round had one. a very convincing win just now. Fight! Yeah, man. The, the momentum is so opposite for these players right now. Nick, who got a very played a very frustrating set against Valle, fell 3-0, and Commander Jesse riding off that high of beating Gutter Magic in such an intense set. Ooh. Nobody can test that too. Choosing when to place his jabs is absolutely vital for Dalton players. And he's doing that so well. Again, that meaty Gale was nasty. Yeah. One more mix-up and it's gonna be Stun City. He got it. 
in the front, and that should be the round. Absolutely it is. Jesse, up one round in the second game. Round two. Like, you know, I have, he hasn't found an answer just yet. Again, no. he's, he's been sticking to the neutral, and he's opted to jump, but hasn't found any momentum off of Trying for the dive kick right there is to alter his trajectory, not to get anti air, but... Oh, I like that. Gets the check from Jesse. There we go. Mixing it up between Teleport. frame traps and Oh, and no walk-up punish on the sweep. He was just out of range. He tried it. I like that. He got caught pressing a normal while the drill hit, knowing that he was at the right space to press jabs. But here comes Jesse. Just out of range. Corner oppression. Can't jump. Oh, activates off the low forward. Makes it all. Doesn't nah. have enough meter for critical art. Builds it now. Oh, he's going is. to use it. He's Let's not play. It. Let's not play Vicious. We need this round. We're going to spin that super. That's a good round for Nick Tanella. Definitely needs to be on the board here. There we go. Fix that hair. Fix that luscious hair. Final the hair round. that I will never have. <laughs> Ever in my life. Because your boy's bald as hair. Dennis, don't laugh. That's not nice. All right, Jesse again. Back into the neutral. He's just going to hang out here. Test Nick Tanella. Yep. Stand forward. Back to back. Three times. Punching him right in the grill with that medium punch. And as a result of Nixonella spinning that critical on the last round, the manager has a significant light or meter lead that he's going to spin now. Face God Agni with the damage. Praying to the young gods. Oh no, the stand fears for the dash up pressure. That's the answer? Raw. When in there, raw. Yeah. I like that mix up. He's just teleporting in the corner. But he's doing the instant air one so that he can still attack on the way down. Exactly. He's out of there. He's waiting wow. for this. Commander Jesse. Looking real Filipino champ ass. He's looking like he solved this Nick Tanella puzzle. Nick Definitely. Tanella, yeah. <laughs> Nick Tanella's trying to get it together. Yeah, that's that's a done deal. You got one more. It's two. That's two. Man, man. Nick, dude. The Millennium puzzle has been. Oh, oh man. Come on, Street. Nick. His mind is definitely Don't in the crack shadow. Like this, bro. He is definitely a permanent resident in the He's shadow. He's cracked room. super hard right now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that is. Come on, man. God bless. Bro I hope you have the, the Price is Right horn queued next time. Our man, Thank you. Broken Nick Tanella. Got to get it together. Put the pieces back together, my friend. Pick up your soul. It's not yeah. it's not all the way in the Shadow Realm yet. <laughs> That's exactly how Nick Tanella is feeling right now. And it's, it's a tough spot. I don't yeah. blame him. Round one. God, I think Dennis Fight. is up for a promotion for... <laughs> the sound for, Kyobi's, for Kyobi's spot. I don't know. He's looking real clean right now. Yobi, not happy with that. Not happy at all. all right, here we go. Nick Tanella back into it. Commander Jesse up 2-0. Already pestering him. So much great life has just been taken away from that stand forward. Yeah. And you know, Jesse really hasn't had to change his play style. Again, as soon as he sees Nick Tanella airborne, something he likes to do if he gets kind of flustered, he has an answer for it. Teleports back in front. Oh, gets the hit. Again, though, Nick Tanella has been a lot of the times getting hits and then walking up and throwing. Oh, there we go. Full combo. Let's see what else we got. Won't bite on the counter here, set up. Jesse looking in tip top shape in this round. Still has a ton of life to work with. EXDP. Wow. Really good reaction. Command grab. Take the damage. Is he going to do it again? Oh, not. Good, good tech from Jesse. That was such a good tech from Jesse. Man. Check your legs, man. Because that's what I feel like Nick Tanella needed to start doing, was kind of just throwing Jesse more. Because he's very solid. He doesn't want to get with that counter hit setup, you know? Yeah. But even then, Commander Jesse was waiting for it. He was ready. Yeah. He didn't care because even if Nick landed one hit, it wouldn't matter because yeah. he just had so much life and more resources in terms of the meter. So Commander Jesse, one round away from uh, winning losers finals and going to grand finals. He might be onto something. He actually got Commander Jesse with these command grabs. There we go. Back to back. He's very solid. He doesn't want to get hit by that counter hit setup. Nice block overhead. That's minus six still. Didn't get to capitalize on it, though. Oh, and the view reversal. Keep him in the corner and not eat that great life from the V trigger. Yo, Tanella might have found an opening against Jesse. All right. He's on the board. One round. Final round. We'll see. Meter Final. advantage slightly in command. Jesse's favor. Nick Tanella still got plenty of work with on his own. Or as Stacey Steve would like to call him, Nick Nutella. <laughs> put him on everything and it's delicious. That's what he says. It really is really what he says. I promise. Man, give me some of that Nutella. I'm like, all right, let's, let's calm down a bit. Cool your jets. Flame pressure. Just keeping Nick Tanella at bay. He's going to have to find a way in. Oh, 
gets the jump and Kumar Jesse was looking for a forward. Oh, staying solid. Still opting to go gotta for the throw him, man. Yeah, yeah, you definitely got to try. Oh, see, Jesse. but then he's ready right there. No, you can't jump at him because you lose that corner pressure. He's done that time and time again throughout the set. Come back Jesse into neutral, he goes. Yeah, he was like, you're going to give me the space. You're going to let me walk back. I will happily take this. Yeah, hopefully if Nick Tanella runs his back. Oh, he has to check. Wow. That was sick. He did that Nick two weeks ago. Nick he trigger activation on the stand dash forward. Up, it's a super. Oh, he catches the back dash and he is on the board. He is alive. Nick Tanella, huge sigh of relief. Can't see him because. <laughs> go. Well done. Nick Tanella Dennis. on the board. Yo, Kiobi, you're about to get replaced. That's what I'm talking about. He needed the Steve power up. He definitely. You started, Nick Tanella, yeah, you put started him on anything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Round that one. was sick. Young man, Fight. Nick Nutella. I like it. Great stuff from Dennis, too. With the <laughs> soundboard. The soundboard effects. He's found his calling in life. Yeah. All right, Jesse kind of just like, all right, I'm just going to stick to my game plan, but that didn't work at all. <laughs> no, Nick Tanella with the jump in. Got him on the counter hit, but he was in air, so he didn't get too much off of it. Crush counter roundhouse into the uh, roundhouse sweep. And just dodge the slide under, new trigger activation. Way to block that. Nick Tanella losing that gray life belt. Activation. Yes. Back to back, back stand medium kicks, but again, come out of Jesse staying solid. Uh, Crouch pierces him on the, uh, the coming. Oh, cool. A roundhouse checking with the stand shock afterwards, just in case Nick Tanella tried to dash up. Oh, wow, stand That's forward. a punish. Yeah, disguidance a little bit too far. And Nick Tanella's got to gotta be sure to keep it. Can't sigh relief too much, you know what I mean? Just because you got one game. Don't let that be the moral victory. You're trying to run this back. You're in top three. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's a stun. Commander Jesse now on the ropes here. Here's a little bit of meter with that DP. Nice sit down. Command grab. Again, again. Oh, he should have went for the command. He really should have went for the command, though. That's a risk you're willing to take with that much life on your hands. Oh, double Gale. That's good damage. Oh, stays Same in front. Side. One hit away. Oh. oh that is going to probably be it. Is it going to kill? No, he stressed it up. And then with the back fierce and it didn't connect. Nick Tanel is still alive. It's just one hit and he will find it with a jab punish on the slide. Good call. Nick Tanella is still alive and well. Possible. Match point for Jesse. Nick Tanella with a ton of work in that meter department. He's got almost two bars. Oh, He's now a threat. Jump. He didn't use it. Oh. There it is. Oh. Managed to put the yoga drill and then the ES command throw. And Jesse still staying solid. He reverses them off. Takes the great life away with that stand strong. Back to your Santier. We get the yeah. teleport combo. Yeah, no meter to extend the combo, but he's still going to settle with the meter. Yeah. Stand strong over and over, baby. Let's do it. Nick Tanella, stun bar starting to drain a little bit. That's good for him. Dash trigger up. Oh, he's activated. walking. He's walking and blocking. I like that. Little by little. Plenty of time to work with. Keep patient, young man. Oh. Stand strong. Nick Tanella trying to look for that big hit. Oh, look at Mary Jesse with the slide under. Great blocks. Great blocks. Nick Tanella saying. Still staying patient. Yeah, you saw him post, uh, put out that fierce, looking for the crush counter dash up combo. He Especially wants it. Critical yeah. Yeah. Critical he gets the jump in. He, he has to do it. That's going to be a ton of damage, and he's going to get the dash up meaty. Yeah. It could be a command grab. It's you not going to kill him. You think so? Oh, anti airs. Oh, he should have no. went for it that back throw, taking out Nick Tanella. And he says, come on, bro. Dolphin Come on, wins. bro. I was really? watching Yipe stream yesterday. This is, it relates to the subject. And I can't remember what song he was playing, but you know, it's one of those R&B songs where it's, you play it during heartbreak. When you go through heartbreak, you play it in the car, you think about all your life decisions, what got you to the point on the way home. And that song he said plays when you try to go for that throw bait, but you get thrown anyway. Yeah. And it hurts. And that is how Nick Tanella lost that set. Went for the throw bait at the end, tried to back up out of the throw range of but Commander still Jesse. In there. Again, you know, I feel like he should have gone for the command grab earlier, that last round, as we were uh, speaking of earlier. When you yeah. have that much life, 
you should really consider your risk reward options. Man. And Jesse definitely was gonna stay patient. Yeah, he's nodding his head. He's like, man, my defense is godlike. <laughs> he's like, my defense is hella godlike. You know what would have been a good song to play? Boys to Men, One Last Cry. Oh yeah. See, real, that's what I'm talking about. Real, Stuff it's like a real that. Real heart tricker. That's the type of songs that play when you try to go for that throw bait, especially to win a game and you get thrown anyway. Yeah. It's huh. like, what do you do against a person who keeps blocking all your frame traps? I mean, command grab, right? That's, yeah. That's. They definitely at that time at the end where he was where he threw him and then dashed up again and just did another throw and he got teched. Yeah, that's a that's a heartbreaker. This is so, I'm okay, thank you. I'm summoning a man. JC coming through with the Hershey's cookies and cream. As much as I'd like to, I'm all right. It's late. I ain't trying to get no diabetes. I'm good. All right. Grand finals work. Via sitting in winners. Commander Jesse with a pretty convincing uh, losers. Yeah, losers, losers set. Grand Finals, thank you all for Round sticking one. with us throughout the night. Hell yeah. You guys are the real MVP. And for bringing it up to Match Reno, like Yeah, Matt bringing it up out. to almost $500 on Match Reno. Big ups to everybody. Oh, wow. That was, that was an interesting execution error from Commander Jesse. We hit a 537 on Match Reno. 537? Oh, wow. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. I, don't know. I said almost 500. It is actually over that. You guys are so awesome. As Cali Power is going to take this first round for himself, it seems like. Matter Jesse does get the V-Trigger combo, though. Tons of gray life gone. That medium kick looked more like two heavies. Ooh, trying to keep him stuffed in the corner. Yoga Flame. What a check. He yeah. saw Vi airborne. Use that roundhouse. Oh, spinning mixer. He's got him back in the corner. That was such a good viewer versus your shoes from Cali Power. So, so sneaky with that grab. Oh, Getting very lucky. I got to say, that was very lucky. Oh, barely hit to the end. Mm. Off the wall, cross up short. Check your cabeza. He tried for the sand jab anti here, but snuck past him, caught him in the neck. <laughs> Did that's where that hits you. What is the neck? The nape. The yoga neck. Do you think Dawson there, Mom? Oh, roundhouse, cross counter. He could have done way more off of that, by the way. He could have gone for the the medium tornado shot and could have gone um, eagle spike after. Snuck past saying. him, yeah. Gonna get the combo with the critical R, it's gonna even up the life. No anti is way too high. He tried back uh, medium punch on that. Yeah, it seemed a little bit too preemptive as well. Oh, and then he gets him with a throw bait to seal the first game. Level up Cali Power looking primed and ready for E League. Crispy. Damn. He's looking ready to go to Atlanta right now. He's just forfeit. Just give it to Jesse and go to Atlanta. This Rashid is some collusion. Round one. Yo, man, he's doing this. He's been giving me this work this past couple weeks. Yep, you heard it here first. Excuse me? Chan he, was like, he was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to play Ryu. And then this Macharino stuff comes out. He's like, oh, I'm going to play Rashid. Never mind. I see you, Bae. <laughs> I see you. Ooh. Already to the corner is Commander Jesse. And look at that. Bae is just going to hang out. He's ready. So whatever whatever Dalsim throws at him. I'll tell you what, though. Yeah. He's looking dangerous going into Ely. You know what's funny? I definitely read our cap, but people always sit on Vaya. Or sleep, sit on? sleep on Vaya. <laughs> I'm sure. Never I'm mind. I was going to make an inappropriate joke. They sit joke. on, for sure. Yeah. Never mind. <laughs> Somebody I do, I sit on you. I do have to bring up. <laughs> someone in the chat said, Vaya is going to win because this is bingo night, and that made me chuckle. <laughs> anyway, Vaya does Wednesday's get stunned now. Wednesday's bingo nights. <laughs> he does get stunned. I think it is 1-0, Vaya. But Commander Jess is going to put himself in the lead for this game. So he gets around on the board first. Wow, oh, trying for the anti air. What an yeah. eagle spot. Trifling man. Doesn't care about the anti air at all. Oh. That's not confusing anybody. If don't. <laughs> that's, not, that's, not, that's not going anywhere for anybody. Yes, we're all the pressures continuing. Oh, gets caught with that one. Punish that. Oh, that's all right. Decent punish. Yeah. I mean, he got some damage and could have gone for a sweep. Yeah, better than nothing. Damage is damage. And he actually caught the end of that slide because he used the medium one to get under. Good check here for Jesse. Oh, but firing right back. Crouch Fierce. Here comes Vaya. You better stop this man. Mix up City. Oh, good block in the overhead. Yeah, and that drill hit perfect. Time doesn't continue the pressure. Roundhouse over the slide. That's such a good tool. Wow. Oh, worth 100%. How do you catch this man? That was a punish. Oh, that was a great punish. Yeah, Vaya's Rashid ever elusive. Using the V reversal to get past him. 
And I like his approach to Maya. He's so ambiguous whether he wants to do a jump in or just go grounded. Yo, Ramasama, that's a good one. Ooh. Ramasama is my, is my Ramasama's the man. kryptonite. He always... Every time when he matches somebody, he always jinxes the one. I'm, I'm dead serious. 100% of the time, I lose. Oh, and he got crossed up on the teleport setup. Face got Agni once again, showing that the damage is real with Dawson. High power sin off full critical art. Well, Spins the V-Trigger. Stocked out of the air, goes to the other side, goes back to the original. He Boss. tried to slide under, but got caught. The Wahoo. The Wahoos. Goes back into the corner. Oh, yeah. wake up super, catches the dash. No, it does down. not. After that back throw, he can freely dash up to you and press the button. I thought he might have got hit just because his dash animation is so funky, you know, or he does yeah. the... Yeah. It might have eaten his input, Crouch Fierce. Oh, yeah, sure. Might have. Might have been, like, too slow. Ninth but win for player two. Well done for Jesse, though. Not showing this is going to be free for Mr. Alex Valle. He's going to have to work for that Macharino bonus pot. Thank you once again Round for everyone one. that contributed. Yeah. I'm going to say right now, at the next break, you guys should definitely go to the bathroom or do what you need to do because it's going to be a long set. <laughs> I'm calling it right now. Ooh, gets out of the throw bait range, but then he just responds with a couch fierce. Good check. Making sure Commander Jesse should have his BDs on check or on point. Wow. Like that. I like that. Yeah, really good air to air. One of the feature catches the limb. Excellent block. Oh, even better reaction from Cali Power. Yeah. Surviving with the fierce mixer. Yeah, the meds are active. Oh. Nice, get him out of there. He still got caught with EX Mixer. My god, Valle with the confirm, so sick. Round two. Hasn't been that long since Valle won a Wednesday Night Fights? I don't know, but yeah, he's definitely been putting in a lot of work lately trying to get prepared for Eli. He was, uh, the other night he was streaming until like 3 or 4 in the morning. It was a grind of it. Commander Jesse gets crush counter sweeped and the corner situation is switched. Stasis. If I keep the Rashid at bay. He's definitely minus four. He could have definitely punished him. Yeah, you'll see Vi continue with these roundhouses, going over those low limbs, those low slides from Dawson. Oh, hot pressing the button twice over. The snipe is good. Jump back jab. Good stuff, Jess. Final round. Way to go, dude. His partner in crime, Francisco. That's what he sounds like every time. Jess, come on, dude. <laughs> oh. Manages to check the teleport out of full combo, gets the throw now. This is what Valle wants. Backdash going to the throw in this corner, and Got he actually pokes his way him. out, yeah. Oh, in the nape of the neck again. Catch it. Pressing a button. Probably sliding out. Counter is set up. What are we going with? Still trying to counter hit him. Oh, and there you go. Check the slide, but Commander Jesse ever forceful. Dang. That tornado shot hit for both, and he was able to continue Rashid the combo. Win. Just in case that jab didn't finish it off, he could have definitely gone into anything. Yeah. Literally anything. Good stuff from Valle. Oh. Yeah, you damn right, thumbs up, <laughs> old man. <laughs> I think he was giving that jump up to Jesse, but it definitely looked like he was it giving was right it thumbs the up to the, boy, to the people at home. He was like, that's right, thank you for the 500. <laughs> that's Reno, please. <laughs> that's what that thumbs up was about. Yeah. Thank you for, for sleeping on me for Ely, thinking that right? we ready. Boy, were you guys wrong. That was all to you guys. You see Jesse, a lot of, yeah, you see a lot of neutral jumps. This is power. definitely not up 2-1. <laughs> this is definitely a mistake. It's all right, I'm sure it will be fixed momentarily as we get a check on the teleport from Cali Power. Oh, back in the corner. What the Man, hell you feel? You what are, you are doing, so Dennis? What are you doing? All right, here we go. All right, well, we're back. Sorry, everyone at home. Sick. Kyobi has a really weird hotkey, so don't blame me. So, uh, we believe that. Yeah. We can blame Kyobi. That's Kyobi hella sabotaged him. He's alpha five. That's Kyobi fine. definitely sabotaged you. Don't worry, everyone at home. Apologies. Fire. Definitely fire. I'm sorry, man. You can only get one. It's a late for us as well. Oh. Oh. I can't speak English, and Dennis can't do commentary or uh, stream stuff. The EX spinning mixer has led to this corner situation. A lot of great life building up on Jesse's side, but he's poking his way out. Oh, the roundhouse is trying to avoid Minus it. In. Missing no that punish. punish. Minus four, Jesse. Yeah, you see Cali Power looking for that roundhouse to lock as it avoids the slides. Oh, nice. Pokes back with his own jab, fast as possible. 
throw again. Do throw again. Oh, meaty, meaty slide. slide. Yoga Gizel. Oh, I can't believe he blocked that. Snipe got him. Jump back jab. Right win by a press sweep. That was God Mike. Final that was a really round. good round from Ryan and Jesse. Beautiful. Gonna need rounds like that for the rest of the set to pull this one out. Yo, by the way, Faye is on tournament point. How did we overlook Wow, it? yeah, that's true. It's I was completely wrong. It was Dennis's mistake that was Kyogre's fault. That's why. He jinxed oh. it for Jesse. Oh. Oh, he gets the throw. This is not good look for Jesse. Still staying solid though. I'd rather take the throw than the counter his setup. And it's such a tough spot. Now he's a Yeah, I was gonna say either V reversal or V chicken. Oh, man, and the green life is gone from that straight spinning mixer. No punish on the sweep, that's unfortunate for Jesse. Thought he was close enough for the crouch tears. Checks him on the teleport. Oh, Cali Power opens him up. One more mix-up, he got it, yeah. Faye is gonna be your Wednesday night fights winner right before Ely. Just wow. in time for it, I should say. Yeah, impressive. Damn. You guys will be able to check him out next week in Atlanta on Hot TBS Atlanta. and Twitch for E-League, as well as a lot of the Wednesday Night Fights uh, commentators here, uh, Rip, Sajam, and Tasty Steve, That's as right. well as Z. Yeah. That's going to be fun to watch. And uh, as far as players go from out here, we got Christy and Valle. Uh, there's going to be so many players at the E-League thing. It's going to be nuts. Uh, it's I want to talk? Do you want to talk? Uh, I mean, if he wants to do the interview, you we can okay. just give us a thumbs up, man. You want to do it? Yeah, so about E-League? Actually, what I also want to talk about is him and how he prepares for E-League. Yeah, we're going to get get right into it. All right, cool, perfect. I'm glad you took the time out. <laughs> hey, safe travels, brother. All right, man. I'll see you. Thank you. Congratulations oh. on that match, Reno money. Oh, Papa Vi. Now, let's talk. Uh, you had a pretty, pretty solid win. Actually, a great performance <laughs> overall. Uh, what's your regimen been like for Ely? Because it's obviously been showing here at Wednesday Night Fights. Good progress. If you have to divide the, 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 the percentages, right? So I've been playing all week. There's no. Yeah, you have. Yeah. Uh, online is like 90%. And then here, I mean, I might have like, a, before we started, I played maybe about an hour or two yeah. worth. I got here at yeah. 6.30 and you've been playing. Yeah, I've been playing. Yeah, so. Um, I mean, I'm trying to train for it, you know? I'm no, I know. I'm, I'm giving you the skip that, that yeah. look. Like, yeah. are you, is this tournament prime Valle back from the dead? <laughs> well, it's, it's, I would say it's three weeks worth. If I played like this, I probably would have picked up more characters and I would have, I would have gone cheaper. I would have gone, I probably would have learned Balrog. I probably would have learned, you know, fucking Laura. I, you know, seriously, because like this game right now, this is the way it is. Like those characters, those characters, those like the game doesn't even start until they got V trigger, and like y you can you can play neutral all you want, and it's just um, and you get those cool wins, right? right? But you can't help but when they activate and they hit you once, just your your options are limited, right? So, I mean, I learned that the hard way of Ryu. Like I, I played Ryu hardcore season two. I didn't even play Rashid. And just to see, like, all right, man, why am I struggling so hard? Is Ryu that bad? I didn't. Nobody knew if Ryu sucked yet, like that. And then I'm like, damn, no, for real. It's like these characters are too oppressive. They're just. Um, <laughs> I feel like yeah, offense yeah, is the key for this game. Well, like it's been that way. Like people kind of thought it was a defensive kind of game, but no, towards the end no, of the meta of, of season no. one, everybody was like, no, this is definitely an offensive game. No, especially that, season two. Yeah, let, let, I mean, um, even though like, like Sien, right? He won with Ibuki. That character, you actually have to have, um, I mean, good neutral and you have to have good meter management. Because if you burn your kunais and all that stuff and you don't know the setups, yeah. it's, it's it's a rough life of Ibuki. Yeah, you're going to have a very difficult time opening oh, up anybody. Yeah, for sure, for yeah, sure. Even with V Trigger, like you have to have the EX kunai entry or crouch strong buffer. <laughs> yeah. Into yeah. That. So, like, for everybody out there that's struggling right now, um, I mean, season 2.1, uh, I mean, I. Honestly, I think the it, it's going in the right direction, but slowly. I mean, there's still a lot of stuff that I mean should should be addressed um, if if we wanted to be more competitive for like uh, defensive play. Yep. I mean, not two defenses where every character is like Guile, because Guile is like the only true defensive character in that game. I would say so. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, y you see, like Dalsum can only be defensive in a couple of matches, but most and he's of the time still he, a glass he, cannon too. Yeah, yeah, but most of the time he he kind of zones you out. So like, I mean. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. I'm gonna try Ryu again, 2.1, to see if like if I can find something. You know, and he has new toys with the standing light kick, 
Yes. And then I'm further I'm, further range. Yeah, and I'm also gonna try Alex. I think he. Alex gonna be fun. Yeah, he, yeah, he's gonna be. Um, Hopefully pretty it's fun the buff. Player. The buff he needed, right? I mean, he's getting a health buff it, as well. His yeah. his normals are pretty good, and his slash elbow no. got a lot better. Yep. I think that's that's crucial yep. in closing the gap. Yep. So. Yeah. But so overall, it's, it's it's very <laughs> exciting to see you play at this caliber again. It reminds me of like back when you were getting back into Street Fighter Four and you were just dominating pretty early. Yeah, I'm. Um, I mean. I, I I wish I had a lot of this time, but like I know as soon as like this is done, like after E League is done, I have to go back in the cave. I mean, for real. It's like yeah, even if I do good at E League, it's like that itch will always be there. But you got a, you got a baby to, to, to foster. You, no, gotta, you, you gotta take care of your your growing yeah. child that is level up live. And we understand that. And we appreciate you. Yeah, doing you, that, you know. You guys will know really really soon um, why I have to go back in the cave. <laughs> It's it's gonna be a sick season for the players. I mean, at, and and I'm happy for everybody. Yeah. I mean, regardless if I'm playing with you guys or not, I'm gonna see a lot more faces guaranteed this year, uh, and they're gonna they're gonna be happy. They're also, be happy. before we sum up this interview again, uh, E League is gonna be happening yep. this weekend with all the commentators. Yep. You heard it uh, earlier. Also, just a little bit before you go, Vanguard is happening April first. Yes. Be sure to sign up. Smash.gg slash yes. Vanguard. Vanguard. Okay. Just making sure. Just, Just Vanguard. Sure. It, yeah, it, it, it goes to it which, whichever episode. Yeah, and again, yeah. if you want to check out how it's uh, run this time around, it's a new format. Check out redbullprovedgrounds.com for yes. all the information you yes. need. It also has a link to smash.gg. Again, yes. Vanguard, Southern California in Fullerton, April 1st. Any uh, uh, any closing remarks before we go? Um, hey, guys, this is your year to come out, Proving Grounds by your city. If not, online events are happening. That's right. Um, here we go. Oh, and shout outs to everybody that donated at Match Arena. Huge. Yep, Thank that, you. That's, <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I know Commander Jesse, Nick Tanella. I mean, they're going to. Man, <laughs> if Jesse it. got first, we would have gotten tacos. You just ruined my night. Hey, hey dude. Come I, on, I, dude. I'll, I'll take you out next time. I'll take you I'm out. I'm just playing, man. <laughs> it's all jokes and fun. So. Again, uh, excellent work, dude. Thank you. This is super Thank sick. You. And that's going to do it for us here at Wednesday Night Fights at the Esports Arena in downtown Santa Ana. Thank you guys for tuning in as long as you have been. And we'll hope to see you guys next week. Peace out.